Hello, hello everybody. Alright, today we're going to be talking about two different coins. We're going to be talking about Doggo, we're going to be talking about Pepe. If you guys know, I'm rolling with Pepe. This is my second Pepe video. You know, if I've made a second video on something, it, it's part of my heart, man. I got Pepe. Pepe's a really good team. Alright, but let's get into the charts. Okay, so everybody noticed today, Doggo is having a wild run up. They, they've been up 60, as high as 64% on the day. Uh, a lot of this was came because the uh, Doggo founder, Victor, came out and said that he was going to burn 50% of the supply. Alright, here's the FUD, guys. Victor doesn't have 50% of the supply. The biggest supply is Mex C, 11%, Gay IO, 9%. So, where, where is this burn going to come from? They're going to have to buy half of the supply and then burn it because they ain't got 50% of the supply. Here's the other thing. Alright, we're sitting at, we was at, uh, Close to a three million market cap a little bit earlier. Now we're sitting at two. Tw now we're sitting at. Let's see what's what's the market cap. I'm going up here. Market cap, yeah, it's close to three million. Two point seven million market cap. We got a two point seven million market cap. Why is the TVL only thirty eight thousand? Where is the liquidity at? And just like I said, hey man, don't go chasing green candles. You will get wrecked. Doggo was not ready to run up like this. Doggo didn't have a reason to run up like this. Yes, they have a lot of exchange listings. That's very good for them. But they they've made all this money and they haven't been putting nothing back into liquidity. No, I'm not with that. Also, they're going to burn 50% of the coins, but they ain't got 50%. All right. Now, let's look. That's the one-minute chart. can barely see anything. It's kind of crazy. Let's go to the one-day chart. Let's squinch this up a little bit for you. So, there you go. Your one-day chart. Oh, you'll see my buys and sells. True. But, uh, luckily I sold. <laughs> Just saying, that's what a damn scam. Alright, let's move on to Pepe. Alright, Pepe, yeah, we up. Whoa, 477. Man. Now, here's the thing about Pepe. Pepe ain't just up and down. Pepe went up, and then we've been holding support. Very strong. None of these other meme coins since Bonk have been holding it down like this. Not saying we, we don't have the same action as Bonk had. You know, up, up, and up for the first, you know, couple of days. But, hey, we're holding it down. I like Bonk. I like Pepe. Dogo is a no-go. Look at this total vested liquidity. We got 58,000 in total vested liquidity at half a million. Doggo has 39k invested liquidity and they're sitting at 3 million. Anybody see anything wrong there? All right, that's my video for the Oh, I was going to go ahead and we can look at some other coins. This is the day chart on Doggo. It looks I mean on Pepe. It looks awesome. Now let's go look at something else that came out recently. I'm going to look at one more coin. Not to bash you guys. But yeah, we're just going to look. I'm waiting to see if Melk's going to pop up. Here, we'll look at Franks daily. What's Frank doing on the daily? This is the Frank daily chart. Oof. Yuck. Alright, now let's look at milk. I never did buy milk. 
Bronx just has too, too many people selling off. All right, milk. Here we go. Milk is actually holding holding it up pretty well. Um, what's their market cap? Yeah. Milk is actually holding it down, guys. So uh, I like milk short too. I don't have any milk, but I may be getting some. That's my video today for the meme wars of Solana. Thank you for stopping by. This is all just my opinion. This is not financial advice. Thank you very much for watching.